coat, and it's a poem about when trust breaks down. I've been wearing this coat made of the most precious threads. It's fine tapestries of colours mirroring the thoughts in my head. It's kept me safe and warm, protected from the cold. But I fear we must part if the truth I have been told. It's taken me places, given me knowledge to open my eyes. But all along it had a far more sinister side. It's been my faithful companion and I've handled it with care. So what it now has done to me can hardly be classed as fair. I thought this coat was made from the most pure natural sources, but it seems it was woven by some dark, evil forces. I don't want to have to throw my coat away, but now I know these things, how can it stay? It's given me friends whom I love deep in my heart, for that reason alone I don't want us to part. But I'm not the only one fooled by this weaver. A world of textiles from a fallacious healer. Precious threads, tattered and torn. Faded colours, ready to mourn. King's clothes have nothing on me. I've been wearing this coat and I still couldn't see. is one I wrote when my dad was very ill and it's called The Soul. I always thought the soul was the last to leave, but seeing you there, I don't know what to believe. Your shattered body struggling on, it seems your soul has already up and gone. <coughs> Those eyes used to twinkle, a smile used to play, your familiar face taken away, replaced by a mask that tells of the end. But where is soul in this body that won't mend? Or maybe this is love's cloak of confusion. The soul is still there, what you see, an illusion created so love can break the bonds so strong and let your soul go travelling on. But why can't I see it deep in your eyes? Why do you wear this awful disguise? I always thought the soul was the last to leave, but seeing you now, I don't know what to believe. And the last one is a little lighter hearted. It's called The Sparrow Ball This Week. Fancy a nice chaffinch, as they seem to eat the most. Maybe I could bag one for my Sunday roast. And then on Monday, something quite quick. Probably a little house sparrow on a spicy kebab stick. <laughs> Swallow stew on Tuesday, but there's no need to boast. On Wednesday, I'll be happy with little Robin Redbreast on toast. <laughs> Thursday, well, I might well just have to cease. One doesn't want to be labelled obese. <laughs> but back to work on Friday, no rest for the wicked. I'll swoop into number six and I'll grab a great fat pigeon. They're quite a job to skin, you know, but worth the extra work as I satisfy my appetite with the feathers I can do my own. Damien Hurst. That just leaves Saturday, the end of my week. I fancy something that used to go tweet. I'm going to have blackbird curry or tapas with wren or maybe a magpie or a flipping big hen. <laughs> Whatever I decide, there's one thing to know when you're top of the food chain. Anything goes. <laughs> Thank you.